Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is now rolling out the latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 version 22H2. And um, if we just head over to Windows Update, um, that update is KB5023778 and um, is exactly the same update I did post on last week when it was still in preview. And as mentioned and as expected, has now made its way to the stable version and was rolled out and released on the 28th of March, which was yesterday in my region. And um, this is an optional update, which is common for the updates that roll out near the end of every month. And uh, um, so you don't have to install the update um, if you don't want to. And as I suggest, if you are happy with way th the way things are running with your system, just ignore the update and leave it alone. Because if you don't install it now, as many of you will know, those updates um, and bugs, fixes and improvements will roll out um, in the second week of April, which will be the second Tuesday of April, which will be Patch Tuesday. Now, um, if you do decide to install the update, um, it does actually include three minor new features. And uh, um, the first feature, and just to go through a couple of the key highlights, um, the first um, of three new features, um, as mentioned previously, um, if you head to your start menu and your profile picture menu, um, apparently the update is introducing notifications for Microsoft accounts in the start menu. Now, Microsoft is calling those um, notifications for accounts, but some are calling it adware. Um, and Microsoft says that um, this is only available to a small audience right now, and it will deploy more broadly in the coming months. Now, as you can see, I haven't received any of those notifications for Microsoft accounts. Um, but if you do start seeing these, you should start seeing notifications to back up your device with OneDrive and so on and recommendations. But as mentioned, um, Microsoft calls those notifications. Some are calling those ads and um, should be rolling out over the next coming days and or weeks. Now, the uh, next is regarding um, the search box on the taskbar, which will now be lighter when you set windows to a custom color mode. And uh, this apparently will occur when you set the Windows mode to dark and the app mode to light. Now, I have tried this um, prior to uh, posting this video. And if we just head over to personalization, colors, and I set a custom color. And I set my Windows, as Microsoft says, to dark. And I set my app mode to light. Um, according to the release notes for the update, that should set the taskbar search box to... Um, a lighter color and I'm not seeing that as yet. So um, if you're not seeing it as yet, maybe that's still on a controlled rollout where the search box on the taskbar will be lighter when you set Windows 11 to a custom color mode. And I'm just going to put everything back to normal for the purpose of this video. And then the third new feature um, is really to do with um, enterprises where they've added many new features and improvements to Microsoft Defender for endpoints. So that would be um, if you are an enterprise using Endpoint, um, you will get um, new features and improvements for Microsoft Defender. Now, those are the new features, and as mentioned, um, are minor kind of features, and nothing really to write home about there. And then just to take a couple of a, a look at some of the um, key highlights and some of the um, bug fixes that have rolled out, because this is a non-security update that does include um, quality improvements. And... Uh, um, if we head over to Notepad and the settings, apparently Microsoft says that the update addresses an issue that affects the Notepad um, combo box in settings. Apparently it was failing to show all the available options. So if you are using combo boxes uh, in the settings in Notepad and you weren't seeing all the options, that bug should be addressed according to Microsoft. And the update also addresses an issue that affects Microsoft PowerPoint. Apparently it uh, stopped responding and this was occurring when some users were using accessibility tools, which is a obviously an accessibility feature in the operating system. And another accessibility feature that was causing issues, which has now been addressed, the update addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Narrator. It was failing to read items in the drop-down list in Microsoft Excel. And then, yes, quite an important uh, fix. Um, it addresses an issue that affects USB printers. Um, Apparently, Windows was classifying them as multimedia devices, even though they were not. So that bug now has been addressed. 
according to Microsoft. And then just one more to mention for the purpose of this video. Um, the update also addresses an issue that was affecting uh, Windows Search. And apparently um, Windows Search was was fa uh, Windows Search fails inside of Windows container images. And that's also quite an important fix. And over and above that, there's a whole lot of different numerous bug fixes that have rolled out. So um, if you have experienced any issues with your Windows 11 operating system running version 22H2, uh, just make sure that you apply this update and it could and should address those issues. And then the servicing stack, uh, which um, is the component that installs Windows updates, has also been um, upgraded with this latest update. And if you have installed the update, if we just head over to Winver, which is about Windows, um, the build will be bumped up to OS build 2261.14. 485 so that's for version 22h2 22621 1485 that's the latest version and build after installing this latest update which is kb5023778 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one